hey guys it's d here today we're going to be making this beautiful dress that can be made in any size any length uh you can actually make this into a top that would also be nice that's how it would look right there in the picture i made this for a size xl but you can adjust it to any size we're going to start with the back piece and it's gonna look like this and then we'll make two front panels that's one of them here is the second one and then we're going to join the two together and after that we are going to be working in rounds to form the dress we're starting with the slip knot And then you're going to make a chain of four that's two three and four then you're going to skip three and in the fourth chain you're going to yarn over and place there a double crochet like so you'll have three loops on your hook yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through the last two chain three yarn over and insert your hook between the chain and the double crochet and place there a double crochet like so and you'll have something like this and this is what we're going to use as our foundation chain so chain three and insert your hook in that loop you made previously and place that a double crochet and this is what we're going to repeat chain three double crochet in the previous loop chain three double crochet between the double crochet and the chain you made previously and you are basically going to repeat this and here i have 20 loops completed and this goes from my one shoulder to another which measures about 17 inches all right so now we're going to start on row one and this is how we're going to do it you're going to make a chain of three and in this first loop we are going to place there two double crochets one and two so in total here we have three double crochets because the chain three we started with will count as a stitch yarn over and in the next loop you're going to place the two double crochets that's one yarn over insert your hook in the same space and make a double crochet like so and you're going to make two double crochets in every loop until you have one loop left at the end I made it to the end and this is my last loop so I'm placing there two double crochets and then the last double crochet you want to place it in the in the chain that we started with remember the chain four we started with so in that very first chain right there that is where you want to place that last stitch like so so we started with three double crochets and now we have three double crochets at the end okay this is how your work should look now we're off to row two chain three turn your work and in this first space here you're going to yarn over and place there two double crochets again in total here we have three because the chain three counts as our first stitch yarn over and in the next space place there two double crochets yarn over skip two and in the next space place there two double crochets yarn over skip two stitches and in the next space you're going to place there two double crochets 
and this is what you're going to repeat until you have until you get to the end okay i'm at the end of my row and once you get there you're going to yarn over and skip two and in that next space you're going to place there two double crochets and then to complete the row you're going to yarn over and make one double crochet on top of that last chain like so and that's the row that we're going to be repeating so that's the end of row two row three chain three turn your work and in that first space you're going to place there two double crochets skip two make two double crochets in the next space skip two make two double crochets in the next space and you're going to repeat that until you get to the end okay i'm working towards the end this is my last space here so skip two and place the two double crochets and then complete the row with one double crochet on top of that last chain and those are the two rows that we are going to repeat all you have to keep in mind is starting with three double crochets and ending with three double crochets it's that simple all right we're going to keep repeating those two rows until we have half of our bust measurement so i'm going to continue and i'll be back once i'm done okay i'm back and this is how my work is looking and i so far i have 15 rows which measures to seven inches and the widest part is um when not stretched it's about 19 or 19 and a half inches but when you stretch it it goes all the way to 22 which is half of my bust and that's what i needed so if you if you if half of your bust is longer than main then you will have to keep on increasing until you get to that number when you stretch your work and next we're going to make the front panels and this is how one of them looks we are going to make the second one together the only difference is that we're going to make the opposite of this one because we need this longer part to face on the other side of the back panel so i hope that makes sense but let's get started on it so you're going to make a slip knot it's so many ways to make slip knots guys just use the simplest way you like to do this so once you're done with that we are going to make a chain of four and then you're going to insert your hook in that first chain and make a double crochet okay chain three yarn over make a double crochet in that previous loop that you made chain three yarn over and place a double crochet in the previous loop chain three make a double crochet in the previous loop I'm going to keep repeating this until I have 10 loops and this is half of the loops that we made for the back panel so whatever you made for your back panel you're going to divide that by two to get the two front panels all right I'm done making my 10 loops and we are now starting on row one so chain three and in this first loop you are going to place the two double crochets yarn over and make two double crochets in the next loop make two double crochets in the next loop and you're going to keep repeating this until you get to the end of the row all 
Okay, so I'm working towards the end of my first row. This here is my last loop, so I'm placing there my two double crochets. And then to complete the row, we need to make a double crochet in this last chain. So we yarn over, and in that last chain or first chain, place there a double crochet. The next row is going to be a little different because we need to increase on one side while keeping the other stripe. Okay, this is the end of our first row. Alright, so start row 2, you're going to chain 3, turn your work, and in this first space we are going to place there two double crochets. And that means this side is the this is the side that we are going to be increasing on. So we yarn over, skip two, and make two double crochets in the next space. Make two double crochets in the next space. Two double crochets in the next space, and you're going to repeat this until you have the last space left so I can show you guys how to work around that side all right I made it to the end of row two and I'm going to skip these two stitches and in the next space I'm placing there only one double crochet and then to complete the row, I'm placing one double crochet on top of the last chain, like so. And by doing this, we are going to keep this side straight while keeping the other one increasing where we always have to start with the three double crochets. Okay, chain three, turn your work for row three. And then you're going to work two double crochets in this first space. Like so. so here we have three stitches and then skip two and make two double crochets in the next space and you're going to keep on making two double crochets in every space until you have the last space left I know this can be a little bit confusing but where we are keeping it straight, you have to alternate between the three double crochets and the two double crochets. While keeping it three double crochets on the other side where we are making it, where we are increasing. right i've made it to the end and this is how my work is looking at this point so this is the side where we're making increases so you're going to make two double crochets and then one double crochet on top of that last chain like so that's an increase chain three turn your work Make your first increase right there, making two double crochets, counting the chain as our first stitch. So makes so that makes it three stitches right there. Yarn over and make two double crochets in the next space. And you're going to keep going making two double crochets in every space until you have only one space left at the end. All right, I have made it to the end and I have one space left to work into and I'm going to complete the row with one double crochet in that space and then the last stitch goes on top of the last chain. 
this is the side we are keeping straight and as you can see the previous row we ended with three double crochets and now we have ended with two double crochets to keep that line straight while making the other one um, increasing by making three double crochets at the beginning and every row so you're basically going to keep on repeating that pattern until you have enough rows until you have the same rows you had for your back panel and yeah i'm going to keep on repeating until i have 15 rows just like the back panel and then i'll be back so we can join everything together so remember to make the second piece but it's gonna be the opposite of this because you are not going to increase it on the same side okay all right so i'll be back once i'm done but if you have any questions feel free to ask me and i really do recommend that uh, you work with me as we go so that this does not confuse you much so if you are here working together with me hey thanks for watching now let's continue and get done with this dress okay i went ahead and completed my two front pieces and here is one here is the second one and this is exactly how yours should look as well so now we are going to attach this these two to the back panel that we made earlier okay so once you have all your pieces together like this they're all done we are now going to join the shoulder part you need to identify which part you would like to be the wrong side and which part you'd like to be the right side so for me i'll put it like this this is the right side and this is going to be the wrong side okay this right here is the wrong side and this is the right side so i'm having the right sides face each other and then the wrong side on the other side because we are going to join this part and join this part as well and we need that seam to be in the in the wrong side of our dress so we're going to get a darning needle we need to use a darning needle for this and here i have a strand of yarn and i'm going to use this to sew everything together so here i have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so i'm going to join one one two three four and five Okay, I'm going to join five and then I'll leave one, two, three, four, five. I'll leave these two because we need to have them open like this. Okay, so I'm going to join one, two, three, four, five. And then after joining this part, I'll cut the yarn and then do the same thing on this side as well. So starting from this very first stitch because we need this part very well aligned okay here we go i'm going to tie a knot right here and make sure that everything is secure then i will just go through the chains Okay, going through the chains and just sewing everything together.
okay so after joining you can just go back and make sure that everything is secured you can try weaving in this the tail and basically making sure that everything is will not come out All right, once you have everything secured, you can cut off the yarn and the strands. And I'm now going to do the same thing I just did here on this side. And I'm going to stitch one, two, three, four, and five. And then I'll leave everything else open for my neck hole. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. All right guys, so I quickly went ahead and joined this part as well. And as you can see, everything is joined. And this is how it's looking. So we have our back panel and we have our front panels attached. And now we are going to join these corners. We're gonna join here, join this middle point and join this corner as well and after that we're going to work in rounds and everything should be easy so here i have this strand and i'm going to use this to attach to this so hopefully you guys left long strands i should have mentioned it but you'll need the strand to you need a longer strand so you can join the two sides so i'm going to insert my hook in the chain three and in the last stitch and i'm simply going to pull through and chain one there that's it and i'll weave this tail in later and then here in the middle i have my strand as well so i'm going to use that to join the two pieces together i'll insert my hook in that last stitch and in the last stitch of the next panel and then i'll pull through the yarn like so chain one and just don't forget to weave in the, those tails. Let's do it real quick. All right, this is my last corner to join. And I still have my yarn attached to it so so I'm simply going to insert my hook in this chain three and then pull through to join just like that and now we have everything joined my work right now is on the wrong side uh, I'm going to turn it to the right side Okay, so now this is the right side facing us. Now we're going to start working in rounds and this is going to be a little different because we're not going to turn our work or make any slip stitches. So let's get started on that. This is where I just made my slip stitch. Let's do this. This is where I just made my slip stitch to join and I'm going to chain three. 
after the chain three i'm going to place the two more double crochets that's one and two so this chain three that i have here is not going to count as anything and i'll tell you why here shortly so after that you're going to yarn over and just keep going between the spaces you're basically going to keep skipping well here at the beginning at the beginning here we have the chain three and the double crochets so you're going to skip all this and make two double crochets in the next space skip the next two stitches and make two double crochets skip the next two and make double two double crochets and you're going to repeat that keep skipping two double crochets just like before only that this time we're working in rounds so it's that easy so when you get to this middle point here as you can see we have these two double crochets and then we have this chain three so you're going to skip you're going to skip all these and just work in this space and place there your two double crochets like so then continue making your two double crochets in every space again when you get to this point you skip the next three and make two double crochets in the space And then you just keep making two double crochets so you skip these next three and keep going with two double crochets all right <clears throat> so once you once you make it to the end, normally we would make a slip stitch, then make a chain and continue, make a chain turn and and repeat, but we're not going to do that, okay? So what we're going to do is yarn over, and in this space that we have here between the chain and the two double crochets here, we are going to place there two double crochets so no slip stitching I recommend if you have to um, get a stitch marker and just place it there for reference so you know that your row ends there and you can just keep moving it or just leave it there so you know the line where you have to stop where you'll have to stop working when you get to the end of your work okay so you can place there a stitch marker for reference all right so after this we're just going to keep working in rounds no slip stitching no turning our work uh, we're just going to keep making two double crochets in every space so i'm going to keep on repeating the pattern making two double crochets in every space and then i'll be back once we get to the point where we need to increase for the hips um i recommend that you make this dress as you try it on so you know where your hips start from also you know if you really need to increase for the hips because depending on the yarn that you are using you may not need to increase because the yarn stretches a lot so you may be able to just go through your dress so but i'm going to show you how to increase in case anyone wants to do that okay 
so i'll be back to show you guys how to increase for the hips i'm back and at this point my dress is 25 and a half inches long and from here we are going to mark where we need to increase for the hips so i already marked where i'm going to be increasing for the hips and i did this on both sides of the dress okay so now i'm going to work until i get to the stitch marker so i can show you guys how to make an increase when you get to the stitch marker you're going to take the stitch marker out and then in that space you are going to place the three double crochets that's one two and three all in the same space okay and then keep going making two double crochets in every space until you get to the next stitch marker i have made it to the second stitch marker and again i'm taking it out then placing the three double crochets all in the same space like so and then continue making two double crochets in every space and by making three double crochets in one space that is how you are making an increase once you get to where we're making the increase as you can see we have three double crochets here you're going to yarn over and in this you're going to skip this first double crochet and in the next space you're going to place there two double crochets two and then you skip one in the next space you place there two double crochets as well and by doing this we have made an increase right here and then after that you continue with the pattern making two double crochets in every space okay like this and if you need to make more increases you can place your stitch marker between these two um, clusters that we have here so you can place a double crochet right in the middle right here like so then you make two double crochets in every space when you get to this other side where we made three double crochets you are again going to do the same thing we've done here and after that you're going to make a round with no increase okay again when you get to where we made the three double crochets you are going to make two double crochets between each stitch like so And then after that just continue making two double crochets in every space okay and after this round you are going to make another round with no increase and then you can increase on the next round if you have to but i'm only increasing once okay i just wanted to show you guys how to make the increase but I really didn't have to because the dress could go right through my hips okay so from here i'm going to keep going repeating the pattern making two double crochets in every space and i'll be back once i need to change colors but if you don't have to change colors if you're using only one color that's fine just keep going until you have one round left so we can do that round that last round together so yeah i'll be back once i'm changing colors i'm back guys and this and at this point my dress is 33 inches long and i now want to change colors so i'm going to change colors from you know this point this is where we started working in rounds without turning our work 
and I'm just going to go with that line and this is where I'm at so I'm now going to change color in in I'm now going to change color in this next cluster so I'm going to get my yarn and make a slip knot Okay. and I'm going to yarn over with my red color insert it in and instead of pulling this red color I'm just going to use the white one like so pull through make sure everything is even pull through one pull through one so we have made here a double crochet and we're not going to tie a knot so this don't come out and done. All right, so there we have attached our new color and we are going to make our second double crochet in that same space. And there you have it. From there, we are going to continue making our clusters. So that's the only part I needed to show you guys on how I was going to change the colors. So after that, you again keep going with two double crochets in every space until you have as many rows as you want to use for the white color and then you can change back the same exact way going back to the main color and like I said earlier if you didn't have to change color you just had to keep going until you have one row left to make and then we can make that together okay so I'm going to keep going with my clusters and I'm not going to change anything once I get to this point here I'll just make there my two double crochets and I just keep going working in rounds until I have um, I don't know how many rounds I'm gonna make with a white color but we'll see all right guys I'm back and this is how my work is looking and I have made a total of five rounds with the white color and I'm now ready to switch back to the main color, which is, uh, so I'm just going to make a slip knot, just like how we did it before. Then I'm going to complete this stitch. Then yarn over. And in the next space insert my hook instead of pulling out the white color I'm going to use the main color to pull through like so then yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through the last two and then tie a knot making sure that everything is tight so it does not come out Go back in that same space with a double crochet then after that you keep repeating the pattern making two double crochets in every space okay so i'll be changing colors one more time and i'll be done so i'll be back so we can do the last round together guys all right i'm back like i said earlier we're going to be doing the last round together and at this point my dress is 39 inches long so now let's continue with the last round okay so i made five rows with the white then i returned i went back to this color and made five rounds and i made five rounds here as well Now to complete this dress, the last round is going to be a little different. So in this next space, we are going to make four double crochets. 
that's two, three, and we have four double crochets in the same space. And then in the next space, we are going to place there only one single crochet. Yarn over, make four double crochets in the next space. Then we're going to single crochet in the next space, then make four double crochets in the next. And we're going to keep going like that, alternating between, between four double crochets and a single crochet. You're going to keep repeating that pattern all the way around and i'll meet you guys back here at the end so i can show you guys how to complete the round okay guys okay guys i have made it to the end and i'm now going instead of making single crochet in this last space i'm going to place there a slip stitch then chain one get my scissors and cut off the yarn leaving a long tail that I can weave in later okay so that's how we are ending the round just like that okay guys one last thing uh, we're going to go back to this space where we made the loops around the neckline and we're going to make a row of single crochets around it okay so you're going to insert your hook in that first loop, then over, pull through, and then you're going to make three single crochets in that same space. That's two and three. Then in the next space, make three single crochets. Three single crochets in the next loop and this is what you're going to repeat around the neckline making three double I'm sorry making three single crochets in every loop until you get to the end all right I have made it to the end and I'm just going to slip stitch between this first chain like so then chain one Get my scissors and cut off the end. Then get a darning needle and we're going to weave that tail in. And weaving in all these tails brings us to the end of this tutorial. If you have watched to the end, thank you so much for your support. Thank you for watching. I'll be seeing you guys in my next tutorial. Bye-bye.